Hello and welcome to a new series called Project Overview. In this series, I'll show you some of my personal projects, I'll show you some of the client stuff if I'll be allowed, and I'll show you a little bit from the backstage how I design stuff, how I run the design reviews, and I'll show you how it's coded in Webflow. Not particularly every step, I'll show you the final project and show you how I was designing it. In the first video of this series, I'll be showing you a project which I created with guys from MemberSpace, and it's called Membership Toolbox. I'll leave the link for both of these uh, in the description. So what is Membership Toolbox? Membership Toolbox is a ultimate list of resources and third-party apps to help you manage and grow your online business. The whole website is split into 14 categories from CMS, automatization, social marketing, affiliate stuff, etc. So that's the introduction to the project. And I'll, I'll make sure if you keep watching the video, there is one thing amazing at the end of the video. Cool. Let's look at how it's designed. So, since this project is actually quite simple, uh, the whole design is basically consisting of two slightly changed designs, which is uh, one for the homepage and one for the category. My whole design, uh, design process was basically run into three different reviews. Uh, at first, we explored uh, in the review one, uh, we explored uh, different kinds of uh, widgets, explored the categories, and then play around with the header, which was at the end the most fun part where we ended up with uh, using this kind of mosaic. But let's look at how basically was the whole process going and uh, what was the whole thing. So basically, I'm usually designing everything in uh, 1140 pixels grid uh, with gather width of 30, which is staying always. And I'm usually designing it for this resolution. I have no idea why, but uh, this is what I, what I like to use. I use 12 column grid for everything, which then again works out nicely uh, in the final in the final product. As you can see here, we have a nice grid of, uh, of categories and then we have different kinds of widgets. I ended up creating uh, quite a lot of options for, for, the, for the client uh, to be able to discuss with him and basically show him what's possible and let him pick what's the best option. This is, this is something what I like to do, uh, basically provide multiple options and then discuss what's the favorite uh, version for the client and what he, likes the, what he likes the most. I also played around with uh, different, different numbers of the tools being in, uh, in the grid. So we were uh, discussing way of three or four, as you can see here. And then at the end, we ended up going with only two columns because it felt like that there is the most space for the, for the copy, which at the end we increased from 14, I think to 15. Cool. So basically, uh, this is, this is basically the whole thing. Almost, uh, we, ent we, we explored a couple of options for the header with some flying parallax icons, for example or basically having uh, different kinds of navigations for the categories, uh, having disclaimer at the bottom, and basically trying to create some sort of uh, different types of headers. This was actually the review one. And then we decided to proceed with uh, the mosaic. In the review two, we play around with a couple more options for the categories. This one is actually using one uh, menu item and menu structure from dashboard UI kit, which guys like from my previous work. And then we basically ended up uh, putting uh, all those uh, different types of banners into place to basically explore how it looks uh, within, the, within the design and if we will be using it at the bottom of the page or if it will be in between all those, uh, all those widgets. At the end, uh, since most of the site was actually quite plain and uh, it's just white and the icons are only, only graphic there, we ended up going with various colors for the navigation, which then uh, with my idea was that uh, each color will represent the different header, which I will show you in a sec. And then, as I was saying the same for the widgets, I basically prepare a couple of options for the banner, which is basically the only ad sort of linking to their site. So you know that it's created by member space. So basically I'm always keeping backup for all the designs which we created to be able to every time uh, if we tr we discuss something we can go back and take a look at hey we already created something like this let's look at uh, how this can work uh, in a different circumstances different uh, environment and with the different elements next to each other and at the end i'm always ending with having separate page 
with like a final design. So this is the final option. We have the we have the home page here. We have the category uh, with one of the color. This one is linking to the CMS. So you can see the blue one is reflecting this one. And then we have a OG image for sharing. Then we have the web clip, favicon, and asset for the for the banner. Then I created a sort of logic uh, for them uh, if they would like to add something something new to the site in in the future uh, that they have some logic behind the colors because the mosaic uh, itself is consisting of three colors so basically we have the main color then we have slightly lighter one and then we have slightly darker one but it's not using only opacity with black and white because I feel like it was always sort of weird with some of the colors. So I ended up using HSL colors. So basically if you go here, uh, you will add, uh, you will go here, change this one to HSL. And then I was always adding the lightness. And here you can see it's plus six for the, for the darker colors. And then for the lighter colors, it was just plus three or minus three for the, for the more pastel, pastel colors. And then some sort of uh, little little iconography here for the responsive version of the of the design, basically to be able to export stuff for the Webflow project. And as a last bit, uh, I have here a little dribble shot, which I'll be posting in a few days. So that was the design. Now let's see how it was turned into code. But in meantime, please let me know what you think about this video in comments. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming video from this series. Now, where was I? Webflow, that's right. Let's see how it's turned into code. So, how is it coded up? The hardest part, obviously, was the mosaic, which was uh, done by Grid. And as you can see, uh, Webflow is using something uh, to help you visualize the grid. So basically, if you take a look here, you can see that it's actually Grid. I'm using 70 pixels for each of the, each of the gaps. Uh, fixed width and the rows are 30, 70, 70, 70, 30 to be able to fit uh, each of those uh, bricks, as I call them, into the into the grid. But since Webflow is helping you a little bit to be able to click into each of these spaces, they are basically adding 75 pixels columns to basically help you click on these. So you have to turn this off to be able to visualize it, how it looks. Uh, when you actually export it. So basically preview looks like this. And that was that was the hardest part here. So I'm pulling uh, for the home page. This is actually static. So basically you can see it's uh, it's using combo class icon one. But if we take a look at, uh, for example, the categories, they are dynamic. So let's, uh, let's check, for example, CMS, where you can see that we are using the icons from the category. The whole project is actually running on two collections. One of them is tools, which is basically the widgets. And second one is categories. Let's look at how the tools are built. So basically we will take a look at circle, for example, it's just name, slug, description, icon, and URL and category. Super easy. Categories are slightly harder. As you remember from the design, we were using the primary color. Then we were using the lighter color and the darker color. So, if you want to add new category, you have to, as we know, uh, add three colors and then add the text color. There's also the letter, which is used in the, in the category, as you remember, for example, here. And then we pick these icons at SEO description, and we can always use a custom OG image for each of those categories. So if in the future we can, for example, have colored each of those OG images, this works actually like this. So basically if we have uh, email marketing, it's a violet color. If we have the help desk, it's a yellow pastel color. If we have image, it's a dark blue. And that's about that. Now let's look at how the responsive works. We have few things here. We have header, the categories, which will have to be somehow pulled uh, on top. And then we have the widgets and the banner. So on tablet, we will put the header, we will remove the mosaic and we will just have label and images. And then here is where the sort of uh, top bar ish uh, thing start, starts to work because we don't have any menu on this side. So we have to somehow be able to still navigate within these, uh, within these categories. And you don't want to end up 
having all of those categories because we can easily end up having uh, let's say 20 categories uh, once you land on the page so basically you will open the page and you would for example on mobile have to scroll really far to be able to see the first tool so we need to have some sort of bar which uh, looks like this so basically we can open uh, the, the menu which will basically expand and collapse uh, these these categories you can see still see that this one is highlighted you can still suggest a product and you can still close it and go back to all tools this is how it looks on mobile landscape and then this is how it looks on mobile portrait here is also a one bottom bar which will always be at the bottom of your of your phone which will be showing you that it was it was brought to you by member space and that's about that. So that's the whole project. There is one more thing which is amazing. Member Space guys left this whole project on Webflow Discover. So you can basically clone this and create any kind of directories of your own. I'll show you how to do it right now. And with that, let me know in comments what do you think about this series. And I'll see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.